Drayson, it's it's apparent that you're playing injured. How do you gut it out? Well, I mean, it, it sure doesn't look like it. As I've been absolutely running this game, uh, absolutely taking it to them. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm fighting an injury. But and, and you you feel like you're going to be able to work your way through that? Oh, oh, absolutely. I already have been. Uh, as I've uh, scored a touchdown and passed passed one. So yeah, run the game. What do you what do you think uh, what do you think contributes to your overconfidence? Well, uh, just my skill set, just my skill level is uh, that really goes towards my self confidence. All right, thanks very much. It's pretty cold out here. How do you stay warm? Uh, I just gotta run around, I guess. You know, get, yeah. get the how, ball and keep running. How do you feel your team's doing so far? I think we're all right. I uh, got them turn the ball over three times, so I think and, we're doing all right. And what do you do to contribute to this team's success? Uh, run around, you know, try to be open for the quarterback to give me pass. All right, thanks very much. Rylan, you're the leader on defense, but but so far uh, this team has had a real struggle uh, stopping their offense. What do you what do you need to do? Oh, I just think I might need to get a new leader. Uh, I'm not doing too well out here. Uh, usually just uh, chewing sunflower seeds out in left field, uh, not doing my job, and yeah, someone else needs to step up. I think. Uh, how do you feel like you're an effective player with your hands in your pockets? Uh, no, I don't think so at all. Uh, it's not usually uh, <laughs> not usually how it works in football. Usually in your hands, but. Uh, I don't know, I might have changed that uh, late in the game. It's pretty cold out here. All right, but, thanks very much. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. no just... Nigel, I was at the breakfast table this morning when you had that incident with the juice. What what happened there? Yeah, I just missed my mouth, really. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you feel things are going out here for your team? Uh, I think their offense is just reading off us and putting guys in our gaps and getting offense. So. Right. What do you need to do to stop them here? Just everyone on their guy and just check them. All right, time to keep them warm out here. Is that true? Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's chilly out here, yeah. Right. What do you do to stay warm? Uh, I just got to keep my hands in my pockets and just kind of warm them up, yeah. Right. So with your hands in your pocket, you feel like you're still a pretty effective player? I think so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Peter, uh, we're here at the Tisdale Field and uh, you just punted and it appears as if that might be a record for a punt. Is that true? I think it might be, yeah. That was, that was quite the distance there. Right. It, it, uh, the word on the street is that the Tisdale cheerleaders wear your jersey specifically. Is that true? That is very true, sir. And why is that? They love me. <laughs> right. Thanks for going so far today. So far, you guys are down a couple, but uh, do you feel like you can claw your way back? Yeah, we just got to tighten up the defense a little bit. Uh, maybe run some more coordinated plays on offense and get a couple of touchdowns and catch back up here. What position is it you play? Uh, wide receiver. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's because of your blazing speed? Yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks for that. Nate, it, it, the word on the street is that the Disney cheerleaders are specifically wearing your sweater. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. Uh, no surprise there. Fan favorite. Uh, really all around. Wherever I go, fan favorite. Uh, not much to say there. No surprise. What is it about your game that they love so much? Uh, just a class act all around. <laughs> Special player on the ice and uh, even more importantly off the ice as well. Thanks very much. Coach, how do you feel the game's going so far today for your squad? Uh, you know, the boys that came out to play tonight, and, uh, you know, we're uh, up up on the scoreboard, so it's been good so far, yeah. Right. How, uh, do you feel like you're actually making a t contribution to the team? Uh, no, not at all. I'm just out here to uh, fire the boys up. That's about it. All right. Well, and you're quite a bit shorter, and uh, football's known as a bigger game. Uh, how, how do you contribute on a, on a team like this? Uh, you know, I, I haven't been doing much. I've just been kind of standing here looking for the picks. Uh, you know, good hands, uh, but no size. I uh, just... Look to look to do whatever I can for the team. Right. Uh, I hear uh, word on the street is that the Tisdale cheerleaders are, are uh, wearing your jersey. Is that true? Uh, probably. I know. Like uh, I've been talking to them a lot lately, but uh, hopefully, hopefully they are. I, I'd love to for that. Uh, the word on the street is that the Tisdale cheerleaders are cheering for you specifically. Is that true? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. You know. Uh, <laughs> Household name out there. Uh, just got to keep doing my thing, and you know, uh, people get on my side behind me. Right on. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Caspi, what position have you been assigned today on the squad? Well, honestly, I'm a pretty versatile player. Uh, I'm known for being like that. Uh, I got all Tisdale behind me here. Uh, a lot of pressure, but I, I can deal with it, I think. What do you think of the Tisdale cheerleaders? Uh, well, yeah, there's lots out. A lot of 22 jerseys out here. No surprises, but <laughs> it's been good. What position do you play out here? I'm uh, more of a rover out here, you know. I uh, just got to fill the positions <laughs> that are needed. Right. And how are you doing so far today? Uh, pretty good. I got uh, one uh, fumble recovery, so right. that was good. Let what do you think of your quarterback, honestly? Um, he's doing pretty good. Uh, I think he's a little rusty. He hasn't played in a while, but he's really fine this game. No. Thanks, Lloyd, here. How, how do you stay warm? 
Uh, you know, you just gotta keep the boots moving. You know, you gotta gotta keep your hands warm. You know, rub them together. Whatever you gotta do. And uh, I think if you just keep working hard, you'll be fine. So. Right. Do, are you wearing cleats today? Uh, no, actually, I forgot them at home today. So I'm uh, sticking with the Nike Roches. You know. Right. Not not the same amount of grip, but you know, I, I'm trying my Confused best. Confused by the simplest things. How do you attribute being able to be a quarterback out here? Uh, I just try focusing on my game and then let my teammates do the rest. Just right. throw the and ball and hopefully they catch it. And how are you doing so far today? Uh, good. We're up seven nothing. Right. Warm. Uh, just gotta keep the feet moving and just stay stay out there and get be ready. Do they have any wagon wheels on the bench here? Uh, no, I ate them all. <laughs> on that ball, that was a pretty good play. What do you attribute your skill to? Uh, you just gotta read the play as best as you can. Use your use your agility to the best of your ability and just contribute to the team as much as possible. All right, thanks a lot. Now you're known as a you're known as a taller offensive lineman. Uh, what, what do you uh, what do you do to block guys out there? Well, you know, I just I, I try and throw myself in front of them. You know, sometimes I'll throw a knee down. You know, try and flip them over me. But you know, it's great being out here right now. I'm I'm having fun. Okay, and how do you think you're gonna do today? Uh, I think we're doing great right now. Like we might get a touchdown here, so I think we're gonna take the lead early here, and we're gonna okay. go from there. Your lack of mobility too. <laughs> Uh, just tight from the games, you know, never rolled out after them. And is that right? It's affecting me now, yeah. Is that right? Do you yeah. think you'll be able to recover from that? Yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> I'm wide receiver. Wide receiver? Are you pretty quick? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. where do you get that speed from? Uh, definitely my family. Yeah? We got, we got a uh, pretty tall family, so yeah. <laughs> so that's where I get it from. Mostly you got long legs, so. Right on. That's okay, thanks Can you tell me what this game means to you, playing in the championship game uh, out here? Uh, it means a lot to me. We've been working for this our entire season here, and uh, we're definitely going to be putting all our effort in to get the win here. Right on. Thanks a lot, Junior. Thank you. Laird, oh, sure. uh, Laird, you're trying to string together some organization for this team. A little bit. Yeah, and how do you think things are going so far? Well, you know, the players have been a gem. They're easy. They just follow directions. It's like herding cats trying to get the parents organized. I see. And and there is a rumor on the street that uh, that you uh, failed to meet the boss a couple of times. Is that true? Why? The term failed to meet, left behind, I don't know. It's kind of a wish wash muddy waters of what really <laughs> happened that night. But it's going to go down as one of the uh, little faux pas of either side who claims responsibility for that one. Okay, thanks. Stripes, have you got a sack? <laughs> yeah, I, I, what, what do you need, coach? Um, <laughs> It appears as if there's a fairly ragtag uh, crew out here. What do you think of this crew? Well, actually, if we had about eight months, we might make something out of them. And uh, uh, there aren't many players out here who like you as an official. How do you feel about that? <laughs> well, it's part of the part of the job. It's just part of the rule. Thousand and two, thousand and three. It's a long one. It's deep. Oh! And that's a wrap from. Uh, Soldier Field here in Tisdale. Uh, it appears this game probably will go into overtime. We'll see you later. Thanks very much.